guys in this video i'll be discussing how i use open interest especially trending oi which is a feature of oi pulse uh, which helps us to understand the trend and also helps us to shape our trade accordingly so guys we all know that the technical indicators that we use is a kind of lagging one which comes only after the price action but open interest is something a leading one and that is why i give more importance to open interest in my trade setup so how i prioritize my trade setup in such a way that first i give importance to data that is open interest then price action and then i give importance to technical indicators that is to enter and to exit so i give uh, i use technical indicators to enter and exit after understanding the trend and direction in the market so guys before using oi pulse that is before 3 years i used to calculate open interest manually by using my excel sheet setup that is uh, the how i did that was like first i select five out of the money call strike price and five in the money call strike price then i will select five out of the money put strike price and five in the money put strike price then i will calculate this 10 call strike prices together that is to get sigma call strike price then i will calculate this 10 put strike prices also together then after that i will take the difference between this sigma call strike price and sigma put strike price then if i get this difference above 25 lakhs then i will decide to which side i need to go that is if it is positive 25 lakhs that i mean the difference is positive 25 lakhs then i'll go for call side i'll go for long and if it is negative 25 lakhs then i'll go for short that is i'll buy puts So this was how I was doing before using OI pulse, and I did this in every forty-five minutes. But now, after using this OI pulse, from that I can get the details. I can get the difference in every three-minute time frame. So after every three minutes, I can get the trend. I can understand the trend of the market. I can understand the change. So that helps me a lot in my trading. And guys, one more thing I want to clarify is that it is not any kind of promotion. I just want to talk to you about how I use open interest, and for that I'm using OI Pulse. So with this, I'm explaining. There are a lot of other tools also which are used by many other people. It is your choice to select which tool you want to use. So for me to explain about open interest, I am showing this OI Pulse. So this is not any kind of promotion. Now let's watch the video. Okay guys so in this video I'll be discussing how OI pulse is helping me to do scalping So here if you see I made a profit of 3 lakh 34000 and it's Friday today 19th of May okay and uh, you can see this is the trade that I have taken today So now you can see I have traded on both sides that is on the put side here and then not at this consolidation and then there was a trade during this up move so i was able to capture both this down move as well as this up move so i will show you that here is a profit of 1 lakh 12000 which is on the pe trade and here another pe trade where i made a profit of 32000 and here comes another one with a profit of 22000 and then comes the call trade with a profit of 87000 okay and uh, then another pe trade with a profit of 1 lakh so we have traded both call and put but uh, traded calls less because uh, it was towards the end of the market hours but puts i did really well so mostly i take morning trades and i could capture this much even though i couldn't uh, do well in call side but uh, then here you can see i made a profit of around 87000 and then i made a loss of 22000 This is something when we we have to keep in mind that when we lose something you should lose less and when you gain something you have to gain maximum possible. Okay now let's look into the OAI pulse. I am just logging in it. So what I do here is I always look at something I got very fascinated that is trending OAI. So what is trending OAI? I'll tell you. You can see here there is a change in call open interest and change in put open interest. so you can get the call open interest here and put open interest here this will be taken with these strike prices okay so you can see here all the strike prices are used 
earlier before oi pulse what i use is uh, used to do is i manually take the open interest of uh, each of these and i add everything on the call side and put side and then i will take the difference okay so here what they have done is this is the addition of all these strike prices of these call open interest and this is the sum of all put open interest in these strike prices you can see here the strike prices okay so this is uh, nothing but sigma of calls and sigma of puts and this is nothing but the difference between open interest so this is what we will get from trending oi so how this is going to help you that's i'm going to discuss this is actually help you to know the direction where the open interest is created now you can see the put open interest is high and the call open interest is less so the market is looking bullish whenever put open interest is high and call open interest is low you will get a sentiment here that is bullish you can see here it is bullish and that doesn't mean that i can take a trade in the upside i want some more confirmation so for that i will look for some 30 to 35 lakh difference between these two that is when i get a clear conviction okay i also do one thing that when i am scalping i keep changing this strike prices from at the money i take four strike prices downside and upside okay so here you can see this is the default setting so i will take it once again okay you can see here I don't want this much because towards this that is 43,200, 43,400, 44,600, 44,700. All these may be used to hedge by big sellers. Okay. So this may not reflect you the actual movement. So I will look for some strike prices like these. These are the one I normally look at. Sometimes I reduce even further also and then I will look at difference. So this is how I do it and depending on situation, I change the strike prices which is completely based on my setup and my convenience. Okay. So if you look in the morning, from the morning here, see guys, it started with 22,000, which means the calls are high and puts are low. And you can see here it is bearish and it is minus 18. So I'm not that convinced to take a down trade. But in the morning I have taken a put trade. and But that is because uh, of this previous day price action and all. And that is previous day price action, world market data etc. I always take opening trade but not based on this. So after some time it become 20. Now it becomes 35. So this is the moment at 9.40. I got whatever I want. I have got convinced that it is going to give down move because of this uh, difference that I am looking at. I need at least 30 lakhs difference when I take the difference between call and put. So minus 35 means it is negative and if it is positive for 35 then it means puts are higher and calls will be lower. So this will be positive and then I will go for bullish. So minus 35 and then 46 and 71 and 86. One thing you can notice here is that it is keeping on increasing, right? From 18, 20, 35, 46, 71, 86, 94. So what it is, and you can see here day low break, day low break, day low break, day low break and day low break. So it keep on increasing the open interest. So what we need to do is till all these moves, what I do normally is, is once this candle broke vwap super, super trend and everything so from here onwards my view is bearish which is also confirmed by the open interest data and i'm getting around 35 lakh difference which i need okay so from here onwards at any candle low break okay see here at this candle low break i will enter into put trade but here there won't be any tra any trade because there is a support here but at this moment, when this level is broken, I will enter into this trade and this trade because uh, this low is breaking. Since the neg data is negative, I won't be trying any Camarilla support trade here because you can see there is a super trend VWAP crossover that too happening with good volume. So this is a crossover which is happening at the time with good volume. 
so i won't be checking trying any camera glass support trade here and once this low is broken i will again go for a put trade and then that is a small bounce so whenever this low is breaking i will keep entering into the put trade so this is what exactly i do so when this low is broken i will enter here at that moment itself i won't be waiting for this candle close again i won't enter at this candle because camera support is there and then here i will enter once it is broken so this is what i normally do so now when you see this uh, engulfing candle we may wait for some time because it can take a reversal and as per my strategy even now also if you see the data is negative at 10 30 see the time is 10 30 okay it is still negative you can see it it is one crore we just need 35 or 40 lakh difference but here we have one crore negative so what i do is i will try to take a retracement trade here as it is coming close to super trend and the camera pivot level so i have taken a put trade here this is a retracement trade because the data here is supporting me it is very good negative and it is increasing consistently you can see it is in increasing 20 35 46 71 86 it keep on increasing means put open interest is coming down and call open interest is going higher and higher which is a very good sign to go on the downside so what i did i took a retracement trade here again first time i entered super trend second time when it came to vwap at this time also that is 11 18 you can see the time 11 15 okay still i have a difference of more than one crore i don't want to hesitate though the direction is slightly changing overall sentiment is bearish and you can uh, see here uh, one crore plus negative so i have taken a put trade here again but when it comes to vwap for the second time i won't take any trade okay so i have taken this put trade taken this trade this also all based on this open interest data and my indicators so that is what these put trade profits okay this is one put trade this is another one this is another put trade and this one is also a put trade now comes to the call trade so when i enter a call trade i won't think about the call trade when the prices is below this vwap The moment this level is broken, then only I think about the call trade. Okay, so here you can see these two candles are coming with a very good volume. That is why we are getting these two dots. Okay, so these two are coming with volume. So then uh, what I will do, I will expect an up move. So I will look at an open interest. Now it is 2 o'clock and let's see the open interest data so that you will understand things. Uh, from 1 crore it is getting reduced and after that it is further getting reduced so here we have seen in the morning it keeping it keep increasing from 1 crore 17 it changed to 1 crore 11 further reduced to 89 then to 76 then 72 then 63 then 58 so this is indicating the trend is now changing now 51 43 39 26 you can see very clearly that the trend is changing and finally coming to positive see from here onwards i can clearly see the direction of change the direction of change is bullish so when i talk about the difference i need to get it somewhere here so at least at this level i can start entering at the call side from 230 onwards you can see from 1 crore 20 lakhs to when it comes to 50 lakhs already a difference of 70 lakhs is created and what i need actually i need a difference of 30 lakhs that means the call open interest is getting reduced so you can see here from 2 crore it is 1 crore 60 and here 91 lakh become more than 1 crore so you can see here consistently the direction of changes going up going up going up and going up and from here it is breaking day high day high day high okay whenever the candle high is broken and here that is whenever the red high is broken then i will enter or i will enter at the support level so this is the support level where i will enter or once this breakout is given so 
this is where the confirmation is given so here i keep entering on the call trade so this is the trade i have taken here i didn't have much confirmation or i don't enter here so this is the trade i have taken since it is a small trade i made a profit of around 87000 so before that i have taken a small stop loss also on the call side so this is what i have done and i hope you guys have understood that and i will keep talking about this in the coming sessions also so you can see here how it was in the morning and it was consistently going up in favor of puts but in the afternoon it was again changing so based on this change we should be going but we have to take the trade either when we get a breakout breakdown or support resistance level so here this has been made a high here so any candle which is making a high i will be entering and this is the trade that i will be taking by keeping this level as the target okay so that is how i trade and here also you can see it opened in the morning and from 200 ema it broke down from here onwards if there is any low breaking then we will enter here also at the low breaking we will enter and at this low breaking also we will enter and here also we will enter then small up moves then we will be entering somewhere here because we can capture this move then we will be entering somewhere here i have explained that with the other setup also so when both of the setups are giving me the confirmation here uh, for a confirmation for a rejection trade okay here also it is supporting me with the rejection trade now the time is 10 30 and here also it is supporting me so i got to confirmation okay both of my setups are are telling me to go put side or um, also the data okay again if you see here this ema is also telling me the same the time is 11.15 you can see here there is a rejection and here if you see here also I am getting a rejection okay so this is a perfect rejection trade and if you see here if I change the time to 15 minute time frame you will see the beauty okay it is actually 20 EMA rejection I will show you that. yeah this bounce this 1115 right this is actually 20 ema rejection so i am getting confirmation from 15 minute time frame also and in my three minute time frame also i am getting confirmation so i will be taking this trade provided that the data is also asking me to take that bearish trade so guys keep in mind one more thing that when you are taking a strike prices these are far out of the money strike prices this is like out of the money strike prices this is not going to help you much because these are the positions which might have been created by the sellers for buying uh, i mean by buying it for a hedge and to get a margin benefit so you need to understand that when you are taking the trade or when you are using this so other than this i look at oi analysis then i will look at future oi analysis to understand whether it is short covering or long unwinding and here towards the end we are getting short covering so that we are able to capture this move so once the day's high is broken we will be short covering so you can see you very clearly that the short covering have started so that's it guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video